All right, event here. So you're ready to see how this is done? Let's check this out. So I'm in this tunnel. Don't have anything going on. It's kind of bland. We're going to be planning an event tonight. We want to transform the space to make it look like this. You see the uplighting, the draping, hugging both sides of this wall, and check out that gorgeous ceiling draping. I took a couple pictures. I want to show you before and after of how this space looks when you transform it with the DIY rentals. That's the lighting, the draping. Look at this before and after transformation. Doesn't it do a lot for the event? Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you think it looks amazing. So we're going to show you how to do it yourself under budget so you can plan a beautiful event that is simple and it's also affordable. When you're in a space like this, you either have a drop ceiling, which looks like this, or you have a finished ceiling, which looks like this. It's really tricky to mount a finished ceiling unless you're drilling holes in the beams. It's not ideal to hang from chandeliers like you see like this, unless you know they're mounted correctly. Why? Because they're not typically load bearing and you hang a lot of weight. You don't want any surprises to happen at your event. You see these squares here? Just a little DIY tip for you. These squares are two feet each. So if you count the squares, you can figure out how long this wall is. But what we did to find the middle point of the ceiling draping is we went ahead and count the squares or 22. So we know that the 11th one will be the midpoint of our ceiling. So this DIY tutorial video is gonna cover everything you need to know about hanging ceiling draping inside of a banquet hall for a wedding or for an event. Now for this design, we're gonna have the ceiling drape do something very simple. It's just gonna kind of form an X. We have fabric pieces going this way and this way. Our fabric will rent out in swags that are 25 feet long. Since this hallway is approximately 50 feet long, you're going to need to do two pieces. So one and then two and then one and two. It's a total of four pieces of fabric connected in the middle, find the mounting, pull them off to the sides, give them a little bit of pleat and then add that lighting so it matches with the colors of the event. It's time to go DIY. Watch this tutorial video and ship our wedding. We'll show you how it's done. So we have the four pieces of draping laid out. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this, we're gonna pleat it in our hands, give it an accordion motion, grab it at the bottom, kind of bring it up like this in the hand. So this is gonna be our first piece. Since we have two on this side, we go ahead and grab the next piece like this. Do the same thing with it. Once again, find the end, pour it in the hand. This way it takes out any of the pieces. might kind of be bent, folded over itself. This way you get that nice full look and bring it to the ceiling. So these two pieces are done. We're gonna do the same to the other side as well. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more DIY tutorial videos. And also click that notification bell while you're at it too. So we have our four pieces of fabric ready to go. They're all in a row right here. You're gonna do one zip tie around it. Then you're gonna do a second one. This is gonna act as a fail safe. This will keep it in place. You wanna make sure that once it's up there in the ceiling, it stays there in the ceiling, right? Until you're ready to take it down. So now we have a second one going around it as well. When it comes to any of this extra, you can literally just take it, fold it back in on itself towards the middle, and then just put a third zip tie around that. And this will actually help to hide the magic. So you don't have all these little loose ends kind of hanging out all over the place. You want to give it a nice clean look. So you can see that we have our four individual pieces. We have all of these zip ties hanging out on here. We don't want to show up in the photos. We're going to take these. We're just going to cut them off just like you see here. Make sure you don't cut the fabric when you're cutting the zip ties. And now we can take this up to the ceiling and hang it for a center mounting point. So before we take this to the ceiling, you have a couple of options. Since there's already zip ties on here, we can take one of the C-clamps and just kind of go through it like this and mount this into the ceiling. This is a drop ceiling. If it was a finished ceiling, it'd be a little more difficult. So what we're doing today is we're gonna mount it to the grid. Where this isn't a lot of weight, so we don't have to worry about anything happening with the ceiling falling down. Besides having the C-clamp, we can also use more zip ties. We always recommend using double or even triple when you're attaching it to the ceiling. This way it's safe and you don't have to worry about it. There are also carabiners too. Just make sure they're load rated for what you're hanging in the ceiling. Look fancy up here with the draping. Look fancy. Okay. We're going to be using the C-clamp. This is a drop ceiling. We're going to mount it right to this grid. Attach it and go into the hook that is in the ceiling. Here's a close-up of how you can go into it as well. You can also put a zip tie, pipe cleaner, or a carabiner around this too. Just be careful with the panels so you don't damage them. And also make sure you have approval from your venue. This way they're not concerned about you going into the ceiling and hanging some stuff. That's why everyone's on the same page. Your setup should look like this so far. We have the famous spotter here, Nicole. Go ahead and say hi to everyone, Nicole. Hi, everyone. I'm the famous spotter. A little bit more than that. So, so now we're going to take this. We're going to pour it in our hand. We want to make sure it's the same fullness as the other pieces. Now that we have this, we're going to walk it up the ladder. And this is when your spotter is going to help you out in your eyes and tell you if it's the same height and fullness. How does that look? That looks great. Take 
pipe cleaner, put it inside of this zip tie around it. And this is one way that we can create the mounting point. I'm just gonna take this and just pull it back a little bit. This way, if I need to, I can take it and make it a little bit more taunt. So if I need to raise it up higher, I won't have any issues. Crank it down like that. Now this is going to mount to the ceiling. Take this and put it back in those same holes that we talked about earlier around the grid of the drop ceiling. Push it through, twist it into place. If you're using a T-hook or if you're using a carabiner, you just whip it in. Hide the zip tie. Bring panels back down. We have this extra because we have draping going on the walls. We're just going to take it and throw it right behind it like this. Out of sight, out of mind. Repeat this step for all the swag draping in your ceiling and then we'll show you the finished look. I'm going to show you a couple other rooms since we did a lot with transforming this space. DIY rentals are super easy to set up. So as you can see here, we have our silk ceiling streamers going across the same way like we did in the other room. Oh, let's check out this tunnel. So a couple things about the tunnel. You'll see that we have the draping up here in the air. We also have the drapes on both sides, complementing the tunnel. The up lighting is doing its thing, working that color in up the wall. Since this is a holiday event, we're working in the color blue. Lighting and draping, they work very well together. So if you're planning a celebration and you want to transform it, the lights and drapes are going to work wonders at your event. If you'd like more information on our DIY up lights, Click that link in the top corner. How about this? We have the drapes coming off this top. It's going right to the ceiling. This is what we call our side single valance. Oh, so while we're over here, how do we create this look with a side single valance? It's not attached to the hardware. This is attaching to a base plate down here. You probably see the ferrule. Just like this video where you took the fabric, we pulled it off to the side for that outdoor ceremony archway. You can use the same thing for base plates inside. And this will help you keep the fabric in place without moving. And then all you gotta do is just make it tight. And this is how it looks. So typically when you plan an event, you have to hire a vendor to come out and do all this setup for you. Since we provide DIY event rentals, we will ship you everything that you need. You don't have to stress because all of our rentals, they set up super fast. I'm going to show you the main room. This is amazing in here. Look at this. Oh yeah. And look at those breakup patterns on the ceiling. Once again, if you want to know how to set a breakup pattern, click that link in the top right corner. You can see that straight swag draping pulled back to give you that cabana feel. How cool is that? Straight swag draping is great for country clubs, especially when you're overlooking a gorgeous view and you have a lot of windows. You want to take advantage of that view. So we're going to take the drapes, bring them in, swag it back. If you'd like more information about how to create swag draping, just click the link right up here in the top right corner for a DIY tutorial video that'll show you how to set this up super fast. You'll also see the constellation lights down here doing their thing, lighting up the ceiling. Once again, if you need some help on the constellation light, click up there in the top corner. Also, we'll link on our website to all the rentals in this video. Click the link in that video description if you're not already on our website. And look at what we have behind me. We have the silver sequin fabric. We're lighting up with the white, so it's very reflective. It shimmers. How beautiful is that? We have this fabric available for rental with any of the drapery setups that we have on our website. Just go ahead and select it in the drop downs and feel free to incorporate this into your event setup. So what's nice about Ship Our Wedding, all the rentals, they ship to you two days before your event. You have them for a five day rental. So let's say your event's happening on a Saturday. You don't have to ship them back until the following Monday. If you need help, contact us. There's a chat widget available on our website. We'd love to find out how we can help you with your DIY celebration. Thank you so much. Take care. Watch more videos above. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video.